All right, we're recording. Right. Welcome to Two Woke Boys, episode 93. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke Boys. <laughs> right. It's been a great week. Today is the day. We are recording on a very special holiday. We are recording on Mother's Day. So if you are a mother, hit us up. We would love to... I don't know, give you a break from the stresses of motherhood, you know? Totally. But do not bring your kids yeah, over. Yeah, leave your fucking kid at home. We're not going to raise your you kids or kids. watch your kid daycare, even temporarily. You yeah. I'm not watching your kid. Whose kid is that? Yeah, what is, that's disgusting. Fuck out of here. I don't We're going to raise here. another man's child? Those are child? my toys, okay? Right. Tell him not No, he to. cannot play my yeah. Xbox. Don't take my Star Wars men out of the packages. Those are worth something. Yeah. He better not touch my Legos. Yeah, if you touch my lightsaber, I'll fucking kill you and your kid, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm not asking you to raise him. I just want him to, like, be able to do something so I don't have to pay for a babysitter for these couple hours. Fucking pay for the babysitter, you yeah. stupid bitch. Yeah, you We're should. not raising another man's child. Yeah, you We're should. We're cucks. Yeah. We have lives. We have potential. We have, we're. We're highly valued and we are high men. value men. We are not going to raise another man's child. <sighs> what the fuck is that bullshit? Never, absolutely never. How dare you? God, you disgust me. Yeah. You fucking just. Dis- but if you are Kim Kardashian, mm-hmm. we will make an exception yeah. for you. I know you have the four children. We won't with Kanye West. We won't tattoo we your kids' names on our not arms. Tattoo your kid on our neck. I on think our necks. Yeah. Okay. We won't or tattoo anywhere. your. We won't ta- actually. Yeah. We will not tattoo Kanye's kids. Absolutely not on our body anywhere. No. I might write your name on my body somewhere with a washable marker. Yes. And then send you a picture of that. And tell you it's permanent. Yeah. Like, I might draw your name on the shaft of my penis and send you that. Wow. You know, and be like, this is yours. Yeah. That would sound like a painful place to get a real tattoo. Yeah, but then I'll be like, yep, I fucking, I feel nothing. You know, that's kind of, isn't that what tattoo people kind of... Right. Oh, it's oh, it's addictive. Yeah, I just yeah. Oh, I feel. I just want more. I got another back piece yeah. on my back. Let me explain the meaning of my tattoos. <sighs> yeah. This Chinese symbol means life. Yeah. This uh, barbed wire around my arm means I'm. Well, those are actually much more meaningful when guys oh, yeah. get like the tribal oh, fuck yeah, thing, dude. like a chain yeah. link. Like those are so those are sick, sick yeah. dude. Yeah, when you get the barbed wire around oh, your yeah. arm, it just and then like you get so jacked that it doesn't even connect anymore. Oh. That shows your growth, yeah, as a as a man. Totally. You know? So yeah. fuck yeah. I mean, it is a little toxic masculinity. It's toxic masculinity but, for sure. And but, we are tat free. But maybe. Maybe the barbed wire symbolizes that we are like a, we we're breaking free of the the cage that we're in that is masculinity. Right. You know, maybe that's what it is. Totally. Like we have this like inner divine femininity that we want to release, but the patriarchy is making us be like these like alpha dudes that you know try to be like real masculine and shit. Yeah, it's like we can, and we say this over and over again on this podcast, we're sorry we're straight white cis men and, like, conventionally attractive and in, like, good shape and smart and just With brilliant. With strong jawline. Just, and beards. I mean, our, these, our jaws can cut glass. <laughs> and these and our beards. The fact we, that we have beards we don't shows even that need we have, beards. like, such great testosterone See, a lot of yeah for sure yeah body, we just like, grow hair like right, so anywhere yeah 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 it's it doesn't come in plotchy like some bitch no just nice look at this look at these yeah. connections it connects yeah, all just yeah yeah full beard 
fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I have to shave in between my eyebrows yeah. because I, I'm so masculine. I also my, have to my, shave my back a lot oh, because fuck that's yeah, how dude. masculine I am. It's not a disgusting yeah. No, it's not I gross at I, all. I, I got to keep my pubes from coming up my shaft. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Wow. It's like a whole thing. Yeah. But that's how masculine, I'm, masculine yeah. I am. Right. I would look like Chewbacca if I didn't shave. Oh, same. Yeah. 100%. And yeah. if that turns you on, then hit me up. Yeah. You know? So we're just these masculine guys. Yeah, we're just... And there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. And, and we're like, so, we wish we weren't that way. Some guys you know, grow... Here's we, another thing about yeah. beards. Some guys grow beards to hide the fact that they don't, they don't have a strong jawline like we do. We yeah. can go... That's totally not why shave. I have... Yeah, that's not you why were, I have... If you're the kind of girl that's like, I like a clean-shaven man, guess what? Next day, pff, gone. Yeah. I don't need this fucking dumb thing. Yeah. Get this bullshit off my face. Right. If you're like a mustache bitch, pff, check this out. Yeah. Tom Selleck, right, right. here. Yeah. I'm a chameleon. Yeah. I'm like Javier Bardem. Get you a man who can do both. That's right. And by I can both, be a beard. I can have a beard yeah. or I could be clean shaven. Exactly. That takes talent. Yeah, it does. To one day have a beard talent, and then take an electronic razor mm. at, for like three minutes and just yeah. shave it off. You can use an electronic razor. I can't even use those. Yeah, well, I never go, like, the only time I go, like, full clean shaven, like, down to the skin uh -huh. is for, like, in like act, a, like, acting. acting. Or, yeah. I mean, like, slam po a slam uh -huh. poetry. Yeah, yeah. Gig. Yeah, because yeah, you need I'm to be not an smooth actor, for slam poetry. Po right. Because your poetry is smooth, right. so you don't, you don't want to have a rugged. It's smooth, just like my brain, yeah. you know? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. So. It's very smooth. Yeah, so we are alpha, we are strong, we have. A great amount of body hair, hair. Body hair yeah. but like and the attractive, yeah, the, the attractive, attractive kind. kind, not like a comically gross no, amount. Whatever the, the acceptable hairy like a, monkey yeah. of a, yeah, of a, whatever the acceptable amount of a man. I'm not that. Yeah, 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 we're not those guys. No, but we're hot, hairy daddies. No homo. Yeah. So if you are back to Mother's Day, mm -hmm. yeah. it is a time for celebration. And, you know, there's nothing harder than being a mother. You know, it's the hardest thing it ever. Is. Staying at home and watching Veggie Tales with a baby yeah. while you drink wine. Yes. That, it's got to be being so. Being a mother is the toughest job on earth. Mm -hmm. And we salute all the great mothers out there. And again, if you are a single mother, we will, and you're just looking for, you know, your baby daddy or yeah. former husband or boyfriend or whatever left you, and you're just so desperate and just seeking any sort of guy to just kind of latch on to and make you feel safe and supported and, mm -hmm. and valued even for a night at, I don't know, 2 a.m. on a Saturday. Sounds like a good time. Hit us up in our DMs, but again, do not bring your fucking children over here. What does this look like? A daycare? No. Absolutely. Unless yeah. you're Kim K or, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other exceptions. Send we us would a make. picture of you and we'll determine whether yeah. or not we'll let your kids. Kim K, yeah, here. if you want to break up with Pete I Davidson, also, we'll I do have it. a. Rihanna is what well, she's pregnant. Okay. We would, I mean, we would, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's another one. We'll, like, we will, it's okay. And even post pregnancy, you know, we wouldn't mind if Rihanna brought her, her, kid of asap rocky over here we would make an exception for her mm -hmm. we would we would come down from our level down to her rihanna's level, level. yeah yeah because make no mistake about it we are higher yeah no doubt i mean where's rihanna's podcast i don't know i don't i don't hear her checking yeah. in every week letting you know what's going on yeah i mean here we are doing all the work and she's just out there like going yeah 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 or whatever the fuck yeah. she does with her dumb bullshit yeah you know such a queen, though. Yeah, she is a queen. And so. she is she is a billionaire, by the way, yeah. largely thanks to her makeup brand Fenty. Fenty, right? yeah, because okay. that's her last name, Rihanna Fenty. Oh, and okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, see, I know that because I'm plugged into like black culture and island culture. Yeah, because you're an island, island boy. boy. Yeah, we're yeah. a couple of island boys. Yeah. Yeah. and we will be Rihanna's island boys, mm -hmm. and maybe even take her to the island of. Paris. Paris yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. We'll make it an island. Yeah. There will be an island yeah. for sure. So, what was I going to say she Rihanna? Will be oh yeah. Landlocked. Yeah. Oh yeah. She'll she will be, be she landlocked will be by the boys. Yeah. yeah. No doubt on yeah. the rotisserie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. So, Rihanna is a billionaire because of her. Well, because of her music for one, but also her makeup brand Fenty, 
which is it was it, does every very does popular. anyone that makes like it seems like every girl that is like they have a makeup brand is like a billionaire i guess yeah so is like it Kylie jenner rihanna yeah, like now. you're famous from another thing and then they start doing makeup and then that makes them a yes. billionaire and we hate all billionaires and want to kill all billionaires and redistribute their wealth but rihanna is okay that's a that's fine yeah yeah because she is a woman of color mm -hmm. so and she, was she is an ethical yeah. billionaire yeah 100 yeah, percent. and oprah's okay too mm -hmm. but the other ones should be killed and have their wealth redistributed, redistributed. To yeah us to, uh, right yeah to and us then we'll figure out we'll where figure to, out the we'll, best yeah place for it to go. don't look at our books either no. we'll we'll figure that out yeah exactly because so. we we are in lockstep with patrice con colors former leader of blm mm -hmm. before she stepped down who said that it is racist and triggering it is triggering. to be asked to disclose where, where your, your charitable funds, funds yeah. your charitable do donations are going yeah that don't is ask us where our money's going right and if you see like you know, where, where are all these charges going to the Spearmint Rhino? Yeah, or and like, why are you decked out in gold chains yeah, it, and it's like, grills yeah, it's and, like, like hey, exclusive Air Jordans? Yeah, and, that are custom that are, with our name on it. Right. Yeah. Look, that's – don't worry about no. that. No. That was a write-off. Yeah. Because that's how we get around. Right. You know? So just don't look at our stuff. No. Man. I know tax season just passed, so. Right. Please get the fuck away from us. Yeah, do not look at our... We will not be disclosing our taxes. No, that's right. So, um, yeah, we love Rihanna. We love mothers. If yeah. you are not a mother and you would like to be a mother, hit us up. We will impregnate you and then leave because we think there's no woman stronger than a single mother, yep. and we will make you a single mother. Sure. So, yeah. I mean... I mean, that's what, what oh heroes, we need to be a, a father we need well, to be a father figure for this dumb for bitch this, that can't this, do it herself yeah you can totally you can do it yourself you're a girl, you're a girl boss. boss go bitch get, the, get out there get out there bring yeah. your kid everywhere yes get that kid the fuck out of here yeah. yeah it is mine but it's more yours than mine right because it was in your body and that was your choice to keep it so you it's my choice to be like get the fuck out of my yes out of my situation. Yes. You know? And, you know, speaking of which, this abortion law mm -hmm. is in the Abhorrent. news right now. This leak of this Supreme Court memo that shows that they are potentially, they have this decision in place to overturn Roe v. Wade, which has been the law of the land for 50 years. And now, we, that doesn't mean that it's going to be completely illegal to get an abortion it'll just be that it's like states rights right 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 that but that means yes but and yes we live in california one of the most liberal states so because a, a, of people like us yes this is and why this podcast is here because this voice that we have that we're doing on this podcast no one is saying the stuff that we're saying yeah, yeah. out here we are saying the most controversial yeah and it's just, I mean, it is exa exactly what everyone else is saying right. but it is controversial yes at the same time and so we want to make the controversial statement that we think that is the that overturning statement. roe v wade would be bad, bad. Yeah. yeah yeah and we don't care how many sponsors we lose how many fans we lose we're willing to take a stand and die on that hill but yeah you mentioned it could become like state by state mm -hmm. but you never know you can never be too careful what if we get another cheeto in office oh. right and he's like oh abortion ban nationwide you never know so with no time thanks. potentially running out to get an abortion yeah you gotta get them while they're last, hot yeah it's, it's kind of like yeah exactly it's last it call last at the bar call. right now this is you're taking That's final orders yeah, if you final orders for abortions. Yeah. So if you want you, to know what that's like, if you want to go through that experience and then maybe talk about it at a comedy show and get a round of applause for killing a baby, that's well, hit us up. Yes, we well, will it's not help you. A baby yet, but whatever we, you think it is, we agree. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah if if so, you have a very hot opinion about that topic, we are just going to be like, mm hmm. And that's it. Yeah. We are going to agree with whatever you say. Right. So last call for those. So if you want to get that before they're potentially outlawed mm. across the whole country, hit us up in our DMs. Yeah, we, we will, will get bust inside. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. We will bust all up in you. Yeah. Because no. that's what you want. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And we will, I mean, we're just here. I mean, usually we pull out and stuff, but, mm -hmm. you know, we will, in protest of this law, we will, you know, finish the job mm -hmm. and you will deal with the consequences. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I mean, it better, and we, and it better be the yeah. uh, cons like the outcome we want, which yeah. is the abortion. The, the yeah, abortion. Yeah, yeah, we are yeah. not raising not, the stupid yeah, absolutely kids. Absolutely not. Yeah. And so, yeah, last call for that. You know, the bartender. It's like, hey, it's one fifty-five. Mm -hmm. Last call, guys. Yeah. Everybody's like kind of looking around, like, who whose baby do I want right. to not have? You know. And then you see us, and we're like, hey, yes, let's 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 do this. Right. And then we'll get, and then we get a call like you know, week or two after, saying like, "Hey, I I just did the test. I um, you know I'm pregnant, and I'm I'm actually having thoughts of keeping it." And then we and hang up like immediately. Yeah, yeah. And then and block you their keep, number. yeah. Then you yeah. keep trying to call us, and you're like, oh, "I don't know what happened. That's yeah. crazy." Who? And then you you get a text, and it says, "Who dis?" Question right. mark. I don't know who you are. Yeah, and then maybe and they send like your information, like no, this is your name and your address, and you're like, that's not me. Right, and then maybe some Instagram DMs from a burner account with like threatening messages saying like something bad could happen yeah. if you don't terminate yeah. that pregnancy, mm -hmm. and which is definitely not us. It's no, it's not us. It's, it's just hey, yeah. th there's a lot of weird stuff going on out there, and we live in a crazy time right now. Yeah. So, you know, but. We will get it done for you if yeah. you want to get it done. Yes, yes. And if and if they try to make abortions illegal in whatever state, you know, hey, you can still go to Six Flags. You know what I'm saying? Elaborate, please. Well, like you know, if you ride a roller coaster, that's like not good, right? For pregnancy, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know if that's the method we should be encouraging. But I mean, hey. That's that's the problem with this law. Is right. it's going to it's going to encourage it's gonna, these unsafe. It's encourage, yeah, it's going to encourage more theme park attempts. rides. Yes. Yeah. Right. Theme park rides, staircases. Yeah. You know. Yeah, those are not things that we would encourage. We don't want to do that, but we will facilitate that if you need. Yeah, but so, I mean, we but we're not paying for the tickets because yeah. those are expensive. Yeah. No, go. you will pay. Disneyland for the is yeah. expensive. Yeah. You so. will pay for the tickets. We will be your plus one. But, but yeah, I mean, if you are. So we're not paying for the tickets at the abortion doctor either. No. That's that's on you. We will you drive you there yeah. and then Venmo invoice you for the gas. The, the ride. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You yeah. will get a Venmo request and you'll be like, what the fuck? $3.75. Yeah. yeah, I did the math. Yeah. Yeah. And we, yeah, we calculated about 51 cents a mile and that's just what it is. And yeah. then plus. And then you're like, well, there's, it was like two dollars extra, and you're like, well, you know, you did it. we cost. did, yeah. we did have, we did have to wait a little bit, right. for you to kind of yeah, walk gratuity out. Gratuity was included, actually. Mm, yeah, yeah, because we know we you're know, a cheap we know, bitch who's yeah. not going to tip us. Exactly. She's like, tip you for driving me to Planned Parenthood to terminate your pregnancy. It seems a little yeah. cheap of you. And, and we're if like, you, Look, if you make a joke about, oh, we already got the tip in. You know what I'm, what I'm saying? Right, With the right, tip right. being yeah. in, we leave it in too long, and yeah, that's why yeah. you got to get this abortion. Fuck that. Yeah. You got to tip us on our Uber ride. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. So respect our time, respect our money. And, yeah, we're already seeing these, you know, these southern states, these southern red states are emboldened by this leak and now are proposing all these very just draconian abortion bans, banning um, – proposing banning the pill one gop candidate even proposed banning condoms and just like don't we support that i kind of support condoms. oh yeah I i've mean, been on a condom maybe. ban we, myself okay, we support because i'm i'm like it's waste environment yeah yeah, yeah we care about concerns. the environment yeah yeah, yeah no sure. we want to yeah we kind of have this we're it, all natural boys we're all natural we we support banning condoms but keeping abortions yes you know mm-hmm that seems like the good kind of middle yeah, it seems ground like the, balance. That's, to us. Yeah, that's what the boys are all about. We're about finding a middle common ground. Common ground. Yeah, yeah. A common ground. And if you like are like, well, but I think this, we will tell you to shut the fuck up and you're Listen a dumb retard and right. that only our opinion is acceptable. Yeah. And you need to meet in the middle. And by the middle, we mean the middle of our point exactly. Yes. So. Yeah. So. 
plug I was saying, there's all these like law proposals for these very just outdated and draconian measures to not only ban abortion, but banning contraception, the different methods of contra con contraception. That seems weird so, to, you know, because it's like, yeah. okay, we want to eliminate abortion. It seems like taking a pill would be okay. Right, but no, they want to outlaw Plan B in a lot of these red states. So if you are a woman in one of these states, one of these like Texas, Georgia, Alabama, you know, the states that are putting these law proposals out there, you're just a hot yeah, southern, southern belle. Queen. Oh, yeah, just wearing a sundress, just, oh, one of those big just, floppy hats. Yep, yep. And you, you, you were maybe just at the Kentucky Derby this mm -hmm. past weekend, yeah. Yeah. you know, and which we hate because it's obviously a yeah, bunch we, of white supremacists yeah, there. But we didn't bet on all the horses no, either. No. Yeah, definitely not. We weren't screaming and at the we, horses, and when we lost, we we're like, "Turn that fucking piece of shit yeah. into glue." Fuck that right. horse. And we weren't there. We definitely no. weren't there at the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, and either. if you saw pictures of us there, that Fake. was Photoshop yeah, yeah. bullshit. Yeah, yeah our enemies not. are. Yeah. yeah, people are trying to take us down. People are trying to take us For down, sure. but they never will. But mm -hmm. if you are one of these just hot Southern bells, mm -hmm. you went. You were in like. You just the, will shut up when your man is talking. Yeah, and like you. Not. We're right, because you you're know. very like behind the times, yeah, and, and you you're very, have this like, like self-hating, right? Like you, you don't. Like, you think feminism is dumb as shit, right? And, and you just like, have this outdated mentality of just like I'm here to serve my man's needs. Yeah, we don't and think we, that that's hot. No, we no. fucking hate and that. And if you are one of the, and you went to like say you went to a big state school like Georgia mm -hmm. or Texas yeah. or Bama, mm -hmm. you know, and you were in that top. You know how the sororities they have like you know they don't necessarily say this but they kind of they, it's they, they imply it that like this is like the hot sorority oh right? yeah oh and there's this definitely is the one for sorority. the the fives and there's one for the upper echelon yeah the, the it is weird that ends. like why would you rush the fucking trash bitch sorority because well, they won't let you into the top one yeah but the, okay i get yeah you're right yeah okay. and so if you you're still in a sorority right right because it's like ooh sorority right, right. like that kind of yeah ooh greek hot life. sorority yeah, yeah. sorority chick yes kinda. so if you are in that upper echelon sorority of just the hottest the hot southern slut. women yeah. at the state school mm -hmm. who go to the football games and tailgate with like yeah the the bare midriff mm -hmm. right and like the short jean shorts just barely covering mm -hmm. your yeah you can see a little bit of the, the like the under part of their ass yeah 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 that's tight yeah we love that yeah yeah and just getting drunk and drunk uh, as fuck yeah funneling beers and, yeah, yeah. yeah and just oh like, if you're one of those women mm -hmm. and you are at you're at risk now of your the right to choose what you want to do with your body being taken away so hit us up in our dms we are in a safe space here in california we will house you mm -hmm. and shelter you for one, one night. night. Yeah. One, maybe. Yeah, maybe. If it, if it goes yeah, well. If you're not annoying. Yeah, yeah. 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 But again, they usually or if, like know if their I place also and pass shut out the fuck up. right after. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Then you yeah. might buy yourself an extra couple hours. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll wake. But if I wake up, I'm like, who, but I why better are wake you up here? to the smell of eggs. Yeah, and for pancakes sure. Pancakes and waffles. Yeah. yeah. Being, why is breakfast not being made? Right. What is happening? Right. Yeah. You better be in my apartment. It's it's the same level of clean right. as it was why when is it you not got here. Cleaner? With, do, do, you didn't sweep the floors or mop in yeah, here? Yeah, what, what the, the fuck, fuck is that bullshit? God damn Go it. back to Alabama. Yeah, what's this? I thought you were a Southern belle that was, you know. Into Serving this. your man's needs. And look, yeah. we hate, we don't support this it's, archaic thing. Yeah, we like, hate Women are shit. just here to support men, but that's what but they if, believe. Yeah, All so of them. we're so trying to support your. Belief, your fucked yeah, up belief system. Yeah, clean system. up my fucking apartment, make me some eggs, and get, and the, get the fuck, fuck out. Back to your weird state. Yeah, yeah. God. It's just a cultural exchange. This is how we need to heal the country. Mm -hmm. Our country is so divided right now. It is. The blue and red states that what better way to just heal this country yeah. by just By fucking a chick in a red state. Red and then state women. Yelling at her for not cleaning my apartment. Bingo. Yeah, exactly. I'm speaking. So we're looking forward to all the DMs we get this week from women in these dumb red states. And if you want to come to a good state, Cali. Mm -hmm. and hang out here for you know a half day or half night we will you know the slotted list is up yeah sign up for a time slot mm -hmm. to come into our studio but you know of course we're going to need
picture verification for sure video yeah because pictures can be and deceiving include, and also inc- if it's just pictures of your face we know you're fat yeah those so up close that. those up close fuck pictures that. If, if the picture stops at like you know the opening of yeah, it's your... like we know you have huge tits but we know why yeah yeah, yeah if it's if the picture stops there we're gonna know that yeah so that's a problem look you got to include think of it like in applying for a job you got to put all your skills on there so put your entire body in the picture please yeah i mean it's crazy that we have to ask this. yeah all we care about we just want transparency, transparency. that's yeah. all we want that's all we want right it's not a big deal right we're very transparent about our stuff. Yeah. You know, we'll let you know that we're polyamorous eight After months. After you find yeah. out. Yeah. That At like eight we're months to other women. a year and a half yeah. later. I mean, totally. Once you accuse us, we'll be like, yeah, that's exactly well, what we're Well, once you accuse us and have proof. And provide. Yeah. We provide. Like uh, undeniable un- evidence. evidence yeah. that we cannot Where it's negate. just like, and then once we stop having our, like, we are definitely going to blow up and be like, Phew. I can't believe you're following me everywhere and you like you took all these pictures and all this shit like you're crazy and then I'm I'm going to be like you got to leave and then I'm going to not talk to you for a little while and then maybe She's like, like this is my apartment you are banging these yeah. other women in my bed. Uh-huh. She's like I'm not going to leave my own house. Yeah. It's like no, you have to. Mhm. Yeah. And then and then y- you send a te- like after I just walk out and and after I have my big blow up, you send me this long text that's like, fuck you. I don't ever want to see you again. You're a fucking piece of shit. You're a cheater. You suck. I fucking hate you. You're garbage. You're trash. The worst person I've ever met. You're so manipulative and shitty. Don't ever talk to me again. Fuck you. And then maybe like two weeks later, right under that, it's going to say, hey. Yeah. You know? Wait, so it's us sending that yeah, yeah. text to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, she it... sends us that. Oh, the, the angry, the, the long text. You. Well, yeah. I mean, it could go either I way. I mean, we've sent a lot of those oh, texts. Oh, 100%. Too. And then we'll follow it up with a hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Two weeks later. Hey, uh, you know, I was, I was thinking about you and, you know, I, I miss us, you know. Right. Rem- rem- and then I'll send you, like, a picture of, like, when we're both, like, smiling or whatever. Right. I'll be like, look Remember at, this. Remember yeah. when remember we were. Remember this moment. Yeah. And then you might say something like, yeah, before I found out you're a fucking piece of shit. And you're like, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I've changed. I've changed. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And then. And yes. Come over. Please. Right. And yes, I'm a, you know, I'm a bad boy. Mm-hmm. But you can be. You, like you can that. be the girl who. Changes. Who changes me. me. Mm-hmm. Don't you. I'm not ready to change like, now. Yeah. Don't you. I'm not like changing that? now, but. Don't you like the we, thrill maybe. of being able to change the bad boys? Mm-hmm. Women like that. Women yeah. like to 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 try to fix a man. Right. They see a guy that's like having fun and just being himself and having a blast, and they're like, "Can I totally can change I ruin his life? Yeah. Can I completely ruin what he's got going on right now? Yeah. How good would that be for me? Yeah. Yeah. So, hit us up in our DMs if mm-hmm. you are just a woman in general. You yeah. can be red state or not, just yeah. mother or it not. It is important to hit us come up. together. Yeah. And come together. Yeah, I see what you did there. So yeah, we love that. Yeah. So there was some other interesting stories happening this week. Dave Chappelle was performing at the Hollywood Bowl mm-hmm. in the Netflix is a joke festival. Let's just say there was a violent act yes. that occurred at the Hollywood Bowl the other day. During Dave Chappelle's performance. Mm-hmm. And then a man came up and defended himself against Dave Chappelle's comedy. Yes. His violent comedy. Yes. And we condemn the violence in that show in the form of the jokes that Dave Chappelle was telling. So what we are saying is words are violence and comedy is violence. Yes. And that's why I quit comedy because I am a hero. I am brave and... By quitting comedy, and it's not because like I didn't achieve. You were the achieve, worst comedian yeah, I ever. Sucked and never ass got at comedy. Any I was never yeah. funny. I just and tried got... to do what people agreed with, and right. yeah, and I would never address the elephant in the room and shit like that. It's not that. No. Okay. I made very good points, and that was what my comedy was about. It was uh, the central thesis of my comedy is like, is that a good point? 
Yeah. And that's what I tried to do. You had that great joke. I think one of my favorite bits of yours from back in your comedy days. Okay. Was when I had so like, many good bits, so I don't like, even know what this bit yeah, is yeah. you're about so to tell So you were me. like, oh, this is one of my favorite ones. You're like, yeah, so I was, at the, I was at the grocery store, grocery shopping the other day, and I was buying some, uh, I was buying some water. Mm-hmm. And then I, um, I was like in the checkout line, and then I was like, hold on a minute. Flint, Michigan still doesn't have clean water. Right. That, was, that is a good. That was that's your a best. Bit. That's such a good bit. That was gold. Because no one saw that coming. Right. You know, I had another one that was like that. Yeah. Where I would like just start whatever shitty joke and then just be like, "Uh, Brianna Taylor needs oh, justice." Arrest the cops who killed Brianna Taylor. Yeah. My, Remember the God those. Man, when I would headline, I would do an hour, and my hands would hurt from clapping just my clap. fucking punchlines punch all the time. Yeah, clapped. I'd be yeah. like, "Uh, please listen to my fucking comedy, yeah. you dickheads!" And then you know, it was just, it hurts. My hands were hurting. Yeah, from clap clapping back so hard. Yeah, God, you clapped yeah. back. Yeah, for the people so in the hard. back. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I would I would clap for the people in the back. Yeah. Yeah. And that's God, your comedy was so good. Thanks, man. That's really, you know, maybe I should start again. Maybe I should do a special where I just do my clap back comedy, you know? Yeah. Just I'd be think- like, uh, Michigan's water is shitty. And then, you know what I should do? What? Remember that device, the clapper with the lights? Oh, yeah. You just go like that. You should sink it up to like oh, the, no the doubt. lights in yeah, the in the for clock. sure. Yeah. So it would just be like a you if someone would have like a seizure in the audience from the epilepsy they would have from the lights just flashing on and off from me being like, Flint, Michigan doesn't have water. Breonna Taylor, uh, cops Arrest need to be cop. killed. Yeah. George Floyd, that sucks that he died. Um, yeah. Black Lives Matter, Patrice Culler's rules, AOC is hot. You know, shit like that. Yeah. Just whatever. You yeah. Know? But again, it's an, it's important to remind all our listeners right now that you should not be doing like the clap between words thing, whether saying it or typing it, unless you are black, because that is part of A A V E, African American vernacular English, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That. That's why I use the black clapping emojis exactly. when I do it. Right. Yeah. And also we're obviously we're, exempt. We're I mean it goes with, into the it goes without culture. saying that we have our pass you know, we have we our N word pass. Black. And yeah, yeah. yeah. We have yeah. our N word pass and we have our pass to do the claps between words because we are the voice of the black community. It's literally in our podcast description. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't we try are to the don't voice. try to tell us what we can and can't say. Yeah, we are the voice for black and African Americans and indigenous people, yeah. women, and all if that shit. they start saying like, hey, maybe you shouldn't be speaking for us, you're maybe not Maybe let us on the podcast. Hey, it's, fuck yeah, you. Shut the shut fuck the up the and fuck let up. us talk. Why don't you go do Girls Gotta Eat or whatever your dumb fucking podcast is, you know? Yeah, let us talk. We are your voice. Yeah. Okay, so shut the fuck up and let us tell you what to believe. Mm-hmm. And that and goes for both do, people of color and women. Yeah, and you can't do the claps because... You ain't black. Nice. We are. All right? Yeah. So, there you go. Nice. So, Thank you. cue that up nicely. So, yeah, we don't want to see or read any clapter between words. Mm-hmm. That is... Unless a- you're honoring us. Right. If you're doing it in a way to pay homage to us, because that is our thing. Right. Certain, it certainly wasn't a thing that literally it's everyone on the is doing on years. Twitter for like the last six years. Right. It's not that. No. We started it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So Chappelle got attacked on stage. There's no, a- no. Ch- Chappelle. Oh, Chappelle was was attacking the air right. with his words. Yes. Yes. And then this this hero came in and, and saved the himself. day he, yeah, he defended he himself he rushed the stage in self defense mm-hmm. from the violence from the of comedy. Dave Chappelle's joke can you imagine the bloodbath of if if he just continued to do comedy un- uninterrupted oh for the people that have been so paid violent to go see him yeah. at the hollywood bowl yeah I, I mean it would it's a massacre yeah and we certainly were at the hollywood bowl protesting and not like yeah, we were inside and we did have tickets to the show and we were like pretty close to the front row. But that's we we were there in protest. Totally. Yeah, we weren't like total Dave Chappelle yeah. fanboys. We love you, Dave. That yeah, wasn't that us. wasn't us that. screaming yeah. at that. No, we were like um, 
this is not what we want. Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, we love that brave man who defended himself from the violence of Dave Chappelle's. Do you know his name is like Isaiah something? I don't know. But he, yeah, so he is a hero. And some people were saying that, so he only got charged with a misdemeanor instead of a felony. Like misdemeanor assault instead of felony. And some people are complaining about that. Some like... Chappelle stands or whatever, but like he shouldn't be charged with anything. Why is he being charged with any crime? He should be a he should be given a key to the city. Yeah, didn't they? They should charge Chappelle. They dropped Where, all the, the charges, right? I think he's still being charged with a, a misdemeanor. It was going to be a felony, okay, I think, and it got downgraded to misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't be given. He shouldn't be charged with anything. It should be Chappelle who should be charged. Yeah, they should and charge also, Chappelle with they a did, felony. They did when they, you know, he. Dave Chappelle got out of the way of the attacker, then they took him backstage and beat the shit out of him. Right. Which is also like uncalled for. Because right. you know, what we need is we don't we we want to defund the police. Yes. Right. And we don't want this kind of thing. What what needed to happen was a dialogue. Yeah. You know? So maybe a counselor would be there right. to talk to Dave Chappelle about what he said. Like, hey, you should have made was. those jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Um may, maybe when you're doing your comedy out there, Dave Chappelle, maybe don't hurt anybody's feelings. Did you ever think of that? Yeah. You know? That and then, would be nice. And then the Chappelle fans and the Chris Rock fans from before are like, oh, this sets a this sets a, a precedent that like if you disagree with what a comedian is saying, you can just rush the stage and attack them. And we think that's a great precedent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If someone makes a joke at the expense of a woman, in mm -hmm. Chris Rock's case, or did a special in Chappelle's case, made jokes at the expense of the trans community, you should be able to assault them on stage because mm -hmm. their words and their assault jokes. Assault is oh, the wrong yeah, word. Not Defend assault. yourself Excuse me. Excuse against me. Thank, their comedy. Thank you for correcting Words me. are violence, and if you You are allowed to act person, in self-defense. 100%. By if, you, if someone says a funny stage. goof and that bothers you, you can go defend yourself by punching them first. With a knife. Yeah, sure. That's also That's shaped like a gun. Shaped like a gun. Yeah, 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 for sure. Which is a a great thing to have on you. Totally. To have a, a weapon that's not as like big of a deal to have shaped like a gun like a gun. Right. That's way more of a thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we think the guy who who defended himself against Chappelle's violent words if is a you, hero. Yeah, if you want to help him out, maybe send us money. And we'll totally pass that we'll, along to we'll, him. Yeah. yeah, maybe. We'll we'll figure yeah. out something to do with it. We'll pass it along to him, and if you ask for proof of that, we will call you triggering and racist. Exactly. For, a, for yeah, asking exactly. us to disclose yeah, yeah. where our charitable contributions yeah. are if going. If you see me How wearing a... How dare you ask us to disclose? To be oh, transparent yeah. about our charity. Yeah, and if you see me wearing a sick new jacket right after you donated, that was I, I already bought that you, like a you've few had months it, ago. Yeah, yeah for so years. shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that guy's arm. Did you see the picture of him after? Yeah, it was like I mean it was like it was like you you know how like, like a, a cat arm. Yeah, like a cat knee that like bends the other way. Yeah. It was like that. It was fucking insane. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, that guy's a hero. It, w w was that guy part of the trans community or something like no. that? Did, Dave Chappelle said think, something like that right after. Well, I think he was, I think he was just joking. Uh, which. How dare you. Yeah, you know. Right. Can you believe that? I, I did see some opinions that were like, you know, I was on Dave Chappelle's side until he made a trans joke right after. Right. You know, I, I actually was against a comedian getting violently attacked while talking. Until he made a joke that I didn't like, which is a great point and not completely the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Right. Yeah. So, you know, also with with that being said, if I'm on stage or Cole is on stage mm. doing poetry and you got a problem with what we're saying and you try to come up, <laughs> you better, you better. Good luck. Yeah, you better come correct because we are shooting first asking yeah. questions later. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of that guy's gun, which was a fake gun with like a knife hidden inside, our gun's not fake. Yeah. And tell you that yeah. much. And I'm not even, ta if you, if you're too close to the stage, I'm shooting. Yeah. And, and someone will be like, that guy just had tickets to sit in the front row. And I'm like, hey, he, Stood Never up too, too fast. Careful. Yeah. 
I, you know, he was just going to the bathroom. Well, guess what? His, he's going to expel his whatever he had to do in the bathroom right there on the floor because yeah. he's dead now. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. We are taking no chances. And also, if you come up with a knife, I'm, I'm un- unsheathing my sword. Wow. I'm bringing a sword yeah. on stage. I'm yeah, like I Leonardo seen, from right. the Ninja Turtles. I have seen Turtles. you carry your, your bayonet yeah. on, on stage, yeah. with you, which is an interesting choice, but sometimes yeah. it, it's I'm needed. all about close quarters combat, too. Right. So just because you think you bridge the the gap of my, my distance with the gun, pff, you're getting all of my samurai action, bitch. Yeah. slice you like a loaf of the deli's finest wow you like that yeah that was yeah, that was deep yeah. yeah so yeah good luck if you try to attack us when yeah. we're doing our woke comedy or our slam poetry mm-hmm. we will fucking kill you yeah we're not gonna have we our put the slam and slam poetry <laughs> we will you will fucking body get slam body slam yeah. yeah and we're not gonna outsource the beating to our boys no like what I mean, we'll, we'll get our hits in too yeah i'll bring my mic with me backstage and i'll be i'll be commentating while i beat the fuck out of yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, we're not going to yeah, we're not going to get our 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 guys to come in and no. and do the hits for us. And we're taking know, care of business It'll be like that big camera with the you see it on the big screen while we're performing. We're taking that backstage and just filming the the, right. the beating. Yeah. You know. It's going to be like an episode of WWE like backstage fuck in the yeah. tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Except it's going to be totally real. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we love that. There's some other stuff going on. Uh, there was the Met Gala, so important. It's this so past important. Week. To... There is nothing more important than the Met Gala. Yeah, yeah. And celebrities wearing. What is that, by the way? Is it's it just like some fashion? Some fashion event where bullshit. celebrities dress up in is costumes. It... So they wear like these like fashionable items, and everybody's like, "This is high fashion," but it's really just like nonsense right yeah most of the time but kim kardashian wore marilyn monroe's old dress at the met gala with that like that white one that yeah the like white sparkly the dress grate. yeah and they like blew the the air i think is yeah i don't know if it maybe maybe that was the dress from that but i think it was the dress she wore when she sang like happy birthday mr president oh, nice to jfk hell yeah and Kim K bought the dress for like millions of dollars and she had to lose. I read that she had to lose like 15 pounds to get in the dress. We think that is abhorrent because we, what, what a terrible message does that send to the body positive community, right? It it is terrible. I have to lose weight in order to fit in a dress. No, that is not okay. And she should be shamed Mm -hmm. and ridiculed for that. Who, Who, Kim K should be shamed and ridiculed. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. she betrayed the body positive community. Yeah. Just like it was. And she was in that body positive group that we try to support of right. having extra body positivity in her tits and ass area. Yeah, that's an important and that's a, group. I'm assuming where she probably had to lose some of that weight. Yeah. And that's just not cool. Yeah. We don't like that. If you are losing weight in your ass or tits area, fuck that. Right. We are against that. Breast reductions? No. Yeah. You fucking whip them big old titties out. We love it. Yeah. With yeah, with your consent. We will support you like the bra that won't. Wow. With your big ass tits. And she's like, oh, but my back pain. Mm-hmm. They give me back pain. It's like, no, we will. We'll take care How of that. How about you lay on your back and I'll take care of something for you. You know what I'm saying? How about that? Yeah. You know, right. Lay on your no back. No back pain if you're. Yeah. If you're. Totally Let me do horizontal. my chiropractic move where you lay on my on my uh, chiropractic table, which it is my bed, but you lay on my chiropractic table, and I'll be like, all right, lay, you have pain in your back, and then she'll be like, yeah, and I'll be like, okay, lay on your back, and then I'll I'll be like, see, this is the problem, and then I'll put both my hands on your breasts. Yeah, with like, her see. consent. Yeah, I'll be like, both of these, this is where the problem is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release your the pain in your back so take both of your legs put them over my shoulders right here yeah and then i got both my hands on your breasts and then like a chiropractor i mean we're both going to be nude by the way right and then i'm both and 
I'm just gonna, with her consent, I'm gonna put my penis inside her and yeah. <laughs> give her a couple of those. Right, right. right. Till she, and I'll be like, you feel that release? You know? Yeah, yeah. Again, and, with and full just, consent. And then yeah. I'll do that probably for about two minutes straight of just really jackhammering her yeah. spine. Because I'm trying to compress the discs in her spine. You right. Know, while her legs are over my shoulders and I'm just grabbing her tits for, you know, for support, you know, because right. I gotta, gotta pull her into me by her tits, you know. Yeah. Or maybe your neck too, and I'll make squeeze pretty hard. Yeah, it's with d- with extra consent. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So kind of so, just sounds like sex. M- I mean, described there. Not I really. have my methods of chiropractic, chiropractic care. Yeah. And some people think chiropractic care is bullshit, but that's that's wrong. I am a full on chiropractor. Do you have a license? Absolutely not. Okay. But I am a chiropractor. I yeah. did I did watch some TikToks of a guy cracking people's backs on TikTok. Right. And now I know what to do. So. Okay. And I'm I'm an expert at the female body. Right. You know, so so hit me up and you I do will. have uh like a coffee mug that says FBI female body inspector. That's right. I do have that. Yeah. Yeah, I got that and you know. I I bought it at Spencer Gifts and that makes me an expert. Along with a slipknot poster. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you'll see that on the wall. And wait till I kick that black light on. It's going to get sick in here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My fucking black light poster. Yeah. Man. And she's like, you're in your 30s. Don't you think you've outgrown this stuff? I, you don't think this is cool? What's wrong with you? Yeah. You know? Just just relax. I know we're listening to Lint Biscuit right now, but you got to relax. And then let me release you. And she's like, yeah, this is really, it's hard to relax with this just hardcore heavy metal. And you're like, all right. It's not heavy metal. It's like new metal. Right. We'll throw on some softer stuff. We'll Mm. throw on some Metallica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, like nothing else matters. Right. Yeah. It's like a slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe a better, more chill song would be like one, right? Oh, yeah, one. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see, yeah. absolute horror. I cannot live. I cannot die. And yeah, yeah, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, she's yeah. like, this it's is romantic, not, right? Yeah, yeah. She's like, I cannot relax with this music. It's like we have a uh, one of those um, essential oil diffusers going. Right. So well, you just breathe that in and yeah. shut up. Yeah. <sighs> so women just, women just don't want to relax, and that's why you got to fucking really lean into them sometimes and make them relax. Yeah, you know with saying? their consent. Of but course. yeah. So yeah, hit us up if you're a woman who has large breasts that have given you back pain. Mm-hmm. And, and an equally large ass. Yes. Like an hourglass figure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And you're like, oh, I'm considering getting a, a breast reduction. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Well, you have to, don't you want a second opinion? Yeah. Right? We will we be will your be second your opinion. We will be your second and third opinion. Yeah, 100%. So let us see your tits and ass, and we'll decide whether what you need to do with your body yeah because it's your body but like our choice kind of our choice yeah, yeah. for this for this yeah not yeah, for, sure. for abortions yeah. that is your choice it's okay. your choice but it better be what we also choose yes we want to agree with what you're choosing yes and you better make the right decision yeah. if you know what i mean which is aborting because yeah. if because we are not ready to be we will be your daddies and zaddies mm-hmm. but we will not be fathers exactly okay yeah. We want to make that crystal clear on this Mother's Day week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are zaddies, yeah. not yeah. fathers. Yeah, you will not be calling us on Father's Day because we are not the father. Yeah. Maury Povich style. That's right. Yeah. Shout out to Maury Povich. In the case of, in the case of Chris and Cole, or no, in the case of two-month-old Caleb, Chris and Cole, you are... Not the father. Yeah, bitch, in your motherfucking face. You know, we get yeah. up, we're like, oh, suck our dicks, you a fucking slut, bitch. Yep. And then we like fucking go up dance and like around dance around. And, yeah. Yeah. I ain't no daddy, fuck you, bitch. And then we, yeah. yeah. We run through the audience, we're like high fiving everybody. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then two weeks later, we'll call you and be like, hey, we should, I know I'm not the dad, but. And she's like, you completely humiliated me on national television. I don't want to get back together with you. Yeah. Like, that was the old that me. Was, that was just me performing on TV. Yeah, it was no, a performance I'm a, you know, I'm a performer. I'm a performer, yeah. I, yeah. I'm an I just, entertainer. I just, you put the lights and the camera on, I, I fucking just, uh, just, I lose myself in the, yeah. 
in the whole thing. I like Eminem, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't help myself. Yeah. That wasn't me. Right. Oh, and this. Different now. Yeah. And speaking of abusive relationships, which we have totally never had, our all our relationships have been very great and on the up and up despite what you know all our exes all say dumb sluts might say yeah because yeah, yeah. they're just you know stupid whores they're out to get us but mm -hmm. the johnny depp and amber heard trial is continuing yeah. and we are totally on team amber, amber heard because Absolutely. we believe all women yeah except when it when it's when it's convenient for us directed at us yeah we believe all women if amber heard came at us we would definitely have a different tune. Yeah. But since it's we a, would be echoing Johnny Depp. Yeah. But since it's at another guy and we can maybe maybe kinda pull him down right. and then climb over him. And take his roles mm -hmm. in yeah. Hollywood. Yeah, because we're I mean, what what's his whole thing? He wears a bunch of scarves. Uh hello. Uh I have so many scarves in multiple colors. Yeah, I, I'm totally like a pirate. And you, you mentioned, know? you know, he has his little mustache and goatee. We can do that shit too. Yeah, I just yeah. shave. I got a couple yeah. pairs of scissors at my house. Yeah, I can bring those too. Yeah. You know? Oh, he's a he's a one of the best actors of all time. We could do what he does. It's yeah, not that hard. Oh, I say some yeah. words on a page. Yeah, I'm just to a pretending camera. to be another. I yeah. Pretend all the time. I pretend oh, like I'm a, a pirate. I'm Jack Sparrow. We could be fucking pirates. Yeah. It's not that hard. Johnny Depp should be canceled and blacklisted forever, and we should take all the roles, all the roles that he was going to, to play. Us as a unit, like both of us. Right. And we'll be like, we are, Yeah, we are Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Both of us. Yeah, and, and I think we've talked about this before. Like, you were going to be – or no, I was going to be Jack Sparrow, and you were just going to be your ancestor, Christopher Columbus. Okay, I like both that. Both. Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah, pirates and oh hell yeah, criminals of mm -hmm. of the high seas. Yeah, and we would be all about that, and that would be a good yeah. Movie. yeah. Although you and they need to portray me as Christopher Columbus in a better light than right. the actual Christopher Columbus, who who is you denounce, my great 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 grandfather, yeah, or whatever. Who but, you still benefit from, yeah, from the generational but, wealth, but yeah. But it's not. Don't worry about that. Yeah, right. Okay? You are not your great 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 yeah, grandfather. You are a person. different. You I are am your named own exactly man. the same name, but and I'm directly different. benefit from yeah. the ancestry. But yeah, you are a different person. Yeah, and I am somewhat attracted to indigenous women, but that's neither here nor there. Mm. Okay, that's not. That's because I want to help them. Right, like John Smith. Yeah, exactly. Helping Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. And For people sure. are like, that's a complete whitewashing of genocide. Uh, I studied history, and by studied history, I mean watched the Disney movie when I was a kid. Pocahontas. So, yeah. Yeah. And I know what happened. Right. And that's what happened. Right. Yeah. I mean, John Smith had like long, flowing blonde, blonde hair, hair and, too. Yeah. And sang beautifully. Right. You know, while also Pocahontas sang some, you know, Have you ever seen the wolf cry? Or yeah. whatever that fucking song is. Pocahontas. Was that, was that the is a song? Batty. Yeah, yeah, she's a baddie, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. So if you are, you want to knit us a dream catcher? Yeah, yeah. If you are a oh, Native yeah. American queen out mm -hmm. there who's just looking for the John Smith in your case, who who would I who would I be? What like explorer? Because yeah. I'm more of like the. Uh, There's John Smith. What's uh, what are those other the? You're like a. I'm pil more of like, like a the pilgrim, right? The, yeah, but that's kind of. I'm more of like. I'm kind of more like the exotic, like. Yeah. You're, you're like the pretty white blonde oh, oh, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm more like the ooh, like what is it? It's like Middle Eastern vibes. Yeah, you, or yeah. Like, what is what would be your? I would be Jack Sparrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a pirate. I'm like you know, kind of the ethnically ambiguous. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, I don't really know what he is. Yeah. But he's mysterious. Yeah. He's a beard. Yeah, we are and, mystery boys. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, there's less mystery about where I come from because yeah. of my white. Pretty, my, pretty my direct white skin, yeah. blue eyes, and white uh, and blonde hair. Yeah, and direct link to, yeah, genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not your fault. It's not me. Hey, I didn't do any of that. Yeah. So fuck that. Yeah, yeah. So I am the Jack. I'm the new Jack Sparrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they should remake a new Pirates of the Caribbean with me, mm -hmm. and 
that's that. So we are on Team Amber Heard. Believe all women, unless the women say that, something bad against. Did you see points. that video of Amber Heard doing coke out of the napkin? Oh, I did. Well, uh, I mean, that's that was the speculation. But. Uh, I mean, have you seen anyone blow their nose like that? No. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't suck in when you're blowing your nose, right? Yeah. I mean, she literally held it like you were doing coke. That is an interesting. I mean, it's, it's for sure yeah. what was going on. Yeah. Which, you know, you've and never been in court doing coke or anything like no. that. So and you don't yeah. still have several pending DUI no, cases that are absolutely not only not convicted yet because of your father's connections yeah. to the higher ups in the justice system. Anyone trying to bring up those cases also, it's very triggering and it's very racist. So don't do that. Yeah. So like Patrice Cullors, get off my fucking nuts, dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? Respect your privacy at this time. Mm-hmm. Respect the privacy of you and your family, which is just you. Which is just me, yeah. 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 Especially on Mother's Day, yeah. which I'm neither a mother or am in a relationship with a mother. So. Yeah. But if you are a mother, hit us up. Yeah. So who we should – so Kim Kardashian, of course, Rihanna, who's about to be a mother. What other mothers would we make an exception to our no kids by another man policy? For. Who are some famous mothers? Okay, we got Kim K. We got uh, Rihanna. Soon to be mother, yeah. Um, who else has a kid? Julia Fox has a kid. Julia who just Fox. Date, who, you know, was Kanye's girlfriend for like two weeks. Okay. We yeah. would. Oh, yeah, the, the uncut jams. Uncut jams, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, we would make an oh, exception for her. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't bring your dumb kid yeah, over keep here. Keep your kid in the car. Yeah. I have covered parking in my garage, and you can leave the kid in there. Yeah. You can even leave the car running. It, it's not one of those garages where you would die. In okay. Yeah. You, I like, would hope not. There's, you know, there's ventilation yeah. to escape. Yeah. That's good. And plus, you're only going to be up here for 15, 20 minutes max. Right. So, and that's with you, you know, cleaning up and making me eggs afterwards, too. So, yeah. That's the whole the whole thing. Right. And the chiropractic adjustment that I'm yeah. going to give you. Sounds like a lot packed into yeah. those 15 minutes. Oh, it's, minutes. it's packed. That's yeah. for sure. You're getting packed. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then after you get packed, you can pack up your things and get the fuck get out. Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we would impregnate or We would let her come over for sure. And if she wants to get impregnated and then get an have abortion. an abortion. Yeah. Time's yeah. running out. So, yeah. Time, so, yeah, again. Time's ticking, ladies. Yeah clock's ticking so hit us up in our dms if you want to you know get your last call of abortions and you know we will drive you to planned parenthood and then invoice you for the procedure the gas the emotional distress on our part yeah and then the lunch that we bought on the way back yeah i'm picking you up yeah you'll be getting a bill yeah no doubt yeah, yeah for sure we are fiscally responsible boys yeah that's right we the boys are trying to get their their money right. She's like, "Why are you guys so cheap? You are the parents of these heirs to massive fortunes, billionaire mm. parents and grandparents. It's like, we're self-made, okay? Yeah, we're yeah. not and by our self-made, ancestors. We're just using our parents' wealth. The credit cards in our name. Uh, yeah, one hundred. So yeah, so I don't know. It what seems you're... self-made to me. Yeah. If if a credit card is in your name, it's yours. It's your money that's on there. There's no way for other money to be accessed on that card. 100%. Yeah. 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 Look, I have a credit card that says that says Cole. I'm not I mean, I'm not going to show it cuz yeah, the yeah. numbers. Yeah, we don't want to yeah. get into a whole thing right. like that. We can't have another fraud scandal. No. You know, cuz that's like a thing we have to deal with all the time. Yeah. So, yeah, do you have anything you want to plug this week? Let's see. Be on the lookout on our social media pages for the two woke boys more videos yes. clips will be dropping of yes. our petition for women's rights uh-huh full video coming soon but clips coming sooner yeah thanks to those of you that have now found the pod from the clips that we posted if you found us on the instagram page or if you found us on uh tiktok or any of those things we love you 
and we support no. I mean, if you're no a woman, homo. we yeah. Lo- yeah. If you're a man, we, we don't love other yeah, men. That's okay, gay. Pa- not, pause. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, we're not doing that. But yeah, yeah. but yeah. So um, yeah, uh, our YouTube channel is up. So if you could like, comment, and subscribe on any of our videos, we would love that. There are full videos of the podcast up there now. So some of you are already watching this, but uh, a lot of you are audio listeners. So check out our YouTube page. We're going to be putting content up there. The full length video of our uh, our petition for women's rights activism thing we went on out there in uh, Santa Monica that we did. We'll put that video on there in the full length. So And then you'll see the reels of it leading up to the full length video on YouTube. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, we now have 20 reviews on Spotify. So thank you guys for that. Uh, Keep those reviews coming on Spotify. Uh, That's great. We love that. Um, And then get our let's let's get our numbers up on the uh, the iTunes reviews too. So give us five star reviews on there. That's very helpful. We will review, read the good reviews on the show if you write a, a pretty fun one. So, uh, yeah, and follow our TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube pages. Send us emails at twowokeboys at gmail.com. We will uh, get to some emails. There's been a couple of emails that we didn't get to on this episode, but we'll get into it on the next one probably. Uh, send us money at the slut fund on venmo or cash app uh we'll reinvest all that money back into the show uh we love that and we will donate some of that money to sluts because we love sluts um yeah just share the pod so everyone that's doing that you guys rule and we love you guys for that so that being said thank you for listening to episode 93 of the two woke boys podcast i am chris i'm cole and together we are two woke, woke boys. boys. Can you hear my voice this time?